Oh hey there, Earthling. In case you missed the news, North Korea just launched an ICBM capable of hitting anywhere in the United States. An ex-felon is running for re-election using words directly from Hitler's playbook. Ukraine is about to lose the war against Russia. And there's another conflict going on in the Middle East. To say shit might hit the fan would be an understatement, and I almost guarantee you that every man in the developed world is having the exact same thoughts. How much time do we have left? So, over the past two years, I've spent building my shit hit the fan arsenal. Again, these are just tools. It's really dependent on the user to be comfortable and agile in times of crisis to protect his family and loved ones. These are no more useful than the user himself or herself. So the purpose of this video is to maybe give you some ideas if you're building your own collection and or just want to be prepared for a worst case scenario. I'm 35 years old. I was born in Texas. I've been around guns most of my life in some form or another coming from the South, but didn't actually start getting really into them until my 30s. So I have this divided into two camps, the retro old school Western style firearms, which are still useful and viable in any situation, and tactical, ready or not, SWAT, clean house type guns. What I say is one is better than the other. No, they're different tools for different applications. Either way, they work. All of these guns are flawless, almost zero malfunctions with any of them, with the exception of the shotgun, which I ran some ammunition through, which it didn't like. So, starting with oldest, going to newest, technology-wise, the trusty revolver. This is a Ruger Wrangler. I went ahead and emptied all of these firearms before the filming of this video. I'm not gonna show you that. I can just tell you that I did, because I did. So, this is a single action revolver, chambered in 22 long rifle. You pull it back, you click it, it goes bang. It's useful for hunting small game, squirrel, rabbits, and the two-legged variety. What is there to say? It's a revolver, it works, it's iconic, never had a failure, and it's accurate as hell. I mean, I've heard people on YouTube say they hit targets 100 yards and even further with this, which is unbelievable, but I'll take them for their word. And it was my first firearm purchase two years ago. Next up, we have the classic 12 gauge pump. This is a Talkerev TX3 with Magpul furniture. It's essentially a Remington 870 with Mossberg 590 furniture. This is a Magpul four end with Talon grips I had installed, light laser combo, something useful, not required, plus one extension, heat shield, ghost ring sights, side saddle, and I'm running double odd buck, good for 15, 25, 30 yards, out to 50, 100 is stretching it with slugs, but this is just such a light shotgun, I wouldn't be really running slugs through it. What really broke me when I was fine tuning it the other day, was this Tactical Aces 14, 25 feet per second. This is a beast and will destroy your shoulder. This is for the uh, Benelli M4s and Beretta A300s of the world. Those are automatic shotguns. You just press and it goes bang over and over. You don't have to rack a slide. And yeah, I probably won't be firing that through this again. I actually had one get jammed in the barrel. So put some grips because your hands will get sweaty. These are just some things to consider when you're building your own collection. This can be used for hunting, self-defense, home defense, zombie apocalypse, shit hit the fan. It's a shotgun. What do you need to know? It's something I wanted and it was actually my last purchase. So moving forward in time, we have the American classic AR-15 most hated gun in America. 
I'm aware. I'm a millennial. I grew up with cops walking around with guns in my cafeterias. This is chambered in 556223. Very, very common AR you can purchase at nearly every gun broker pawn shop across America. I've had a muzzle brake installed, flashlight, though you could put a laser if you had nods or you want to look tactical, but when bullets start flying, the last thing you're thinking about is where my laser is. Unless you wanted someone to know, hey, you got him. This is a Sightmark M-Spec red dot with two MOA circle donut reticle. It works fine. It's basically identical to an EOTech, except it's the budget poor man's version designed in Texas, which is where I'm from. Also it included a pullover five times magnifier, good for, I'd say 100 yards and out. You can easily stretch this to 100, 200, maybe even 300. But remember, most engagements are within 100 yards and in. You can quote the US Army on that. This magnifier does have quick detach point. So say you wanted to take this off and use it as simply a scoping device or you just wanted less weight, then you can do that and be completely viable with a red dot. I recommend see-through mags where you can gauge how many rounds you have left. This is a Magpul Gen 3 windowed magazine. A little bit pricey, but worth it. Radian Raptor charging handle because, well, this whole talon gripping gets pretty tiresome. Plus, you experience gas face with mil spec charging handles. If you don't know what that is, you will once you start shooting ARs. Mil spec trigger, BCM grip, BCM stock. What can I say? It works. I've been able to hit 100 yard headshots easy just with the red dot and even pushing out to two, 300 with or without the magnifier. It's a little bit heavy, but you get used to it and you're not holding it up all the time. It works. When shit hits the fan, you're not gonna be walking around with what I'm about to show you. You're likely just gonna have a shotgun or a rifle. Let's be honest, you're not SWAT. You're not a tactical operator. Army personnel didn't even get issued handguns during the war in Afghanistan. Last but not least, the 9mm Springfield Saint. This is the Cadillac of handguns. And it rocks. Not a single malfunction. Accurate as all hell. This is a Valkyrie Pro Olight, which you can cringe at, but it's all rechargeable. Everything here is rechargeable, which I encourage, because when things go south, you're not going to be looking around for batteries. You're likely going to have some generator, solar, or gas, likely solar, to recharge your batteries. This is, again, chambered in nine with... Tritium night sights, new grips, but it is a lot to carry. I carry this half the time because it is not fun to carry. I'm not a law enforcement personnel, I'm just a civilian. And as much as I'd love to shoot this thing, I might actually be trading it in for something more compact, a Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. That's on my radar. And of course, maybe other guns I'd like, like a Ruger 1022, would be useful in hunting small game. A 50 cal for shutting down vehicles on coming. The options are unlimited nowadays. And naturally, you want hollow points because that's your easiest way to drop a target with less shots fired. I forgot to mention for the AR. You can run just about anything through it. Of course, I got green tip, I got um, black 62 grain, 223, Winchester 556, 
40 round mags fully loaded, ready to go. You gotta play around with the ammunition and your gun and figure out what works best. So all of this takes time. You can basically teach yourself everything from the internet. There are enormous amounts of resources available. Excellent videos you can watch and go practice yourself, spend the time, take hundreds of rounds of ammunition with you, and at some point, hopefully before things get really bad, you'll feel proficient and able to protect your family and loved ones, though of course I have the inclination to be peace-minded first and offer good company to invading marauders. However, I am old enough and young enough to know that there will be psychopathic murderers wandering the great lands of the United States of America and around the world. If they don't respond to a bang, then they'll see more of that. All right, so last but not least, you'll want ear protection. They didn't wear this during World War II because no one, I guess, thought of that, and so a lot of people had hearing problems. Uh, you, I'd recommend the electronic kind, though you can get away with regular. This also has rubberized replacement covers, much more comfortable, they get less sweaty, and I think they block out noise better. Uh, plus, if you're wearing eye protection gear, which I don't have in this video, the more comfort you have, trust me, it's better, especially during long days of shooting. Uh, I have my chest rig coming, just before my birthday next month, which I'll be building up. But as far as tools go, this is what I'm working with and what I'm happy with. So I hope you were able to walk away with something from this. It's not difficult. Anyone can learn this, whether they're old or young. There's certainly much better shooters out there than me, but considering most close range encounters according to the FBI, occur at seven yards and in. And then you take it further out with a rifle, maybe a hundred yards and out. Consider yourself in good hands. So, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.